And so we're going to be converting between geometric and Cartesian vectors. So going from geometric to Cartesian vectors, all you need to do really is use SOHCAHTOA, sine, opposite hypotenuse, cos, adjacent hypotenuse. You get the idea. Our angles for this exercise are going to be measured relative to the positive x-axis. So we won't be using the compass as a heading. So here's an example. I have this vector. It has a magnitude of 5 units, and it has, a, it has an orientation of 53.13 degrees. And if I looked at that in Cartesian form, it's 3, 4. Now, what you would need to do, of course, is you're given the hypotenuse. The magnitude is 5 here. You're given this angle. And what you need to do is find the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. And just remember that this is a right angle triangle. Okay, this is going to work all around this quadrant. And of course, the reason it's a little more tricky, the reason it's a little more tricky to go from Cartesian to geometric is because our inverse trig functions don't give us angles in all four quadrants, just because of the way they need to be functions. And so if you have a vector here, uh, if you just use your x and y points as they are, you're probably going to get the wrong angle. And so what you need to do is figure out what quadrant you're in and figure out what the size of this contained angle is and then find out what the angle is from the positive x-axis. Okay.